Welcome. Here's a fun question about patterns, and it tells us that Justin drew the pattern of the shapes below. So here's the pattern, and what do we have? Well, we have a triangle, and then two squares, and then another triangle. So it seems to kind of alternate between a triangle and two squares, and a triangle and two squares. And that's really, you know, when you see a pattern, just try to observe something about the pattern. Don't freak out and, and try to guess everything and, and figure everything out from the start. Just try to get something. So I don't even know what this question is about, but I'm just observing that what's happening here is we're kind of alternating or going back and forth between triangles and two squares. What are they going to ask us? Well, here's the question. It says, which pattern follows the same rule as the pattern above? So a rule could just be the rules of the pattern. In other words, what is the rule of this pattern? In other, you know, if, if we have one triangle, it seems that one triangle is always followed by two squares. And that could be the rule of the pattern, that you take a triangle and then two other squares. But is there more to it? Well, I would say yes, because all the choices they give us, if you look at what they have here, there are no triangles or squares. Instead, it's all stars and circles. So there must be something more to this pattern than just triangles and squares. And what is that? Well, I would say what this pattern really is about is taking one type of shape, like a triangle, and then following it by two other types of shapes. Or, excuse me, following it by two of another type of shape. So it's one type of shape, and then two more of a different type. And then one type right, a triangle, and then two other shapes that are different. So really we're alternating between shapes where we have one, one of one kind of shape and then two of another, and then one of one shape and two of another. That could be our pattern here, and I think it is because if you look at choice A, the same thing's happening. Instead of a triangle, we have a star, right? We have one star, and then we have two circles. One, two. So instead of a triangle and two squares, we have a star and two circles. So one type of shape followed by two of another. And then one type of shape and two of another. So this is the same pattern. I would pick A. Even though there are different shapes, it follows a similar rule or type of pattern. Part B in C and D, let's look at those. When would B be the answer? Well, B, I think, would make sense if we started with a triangle, followed by a square, followed by a triangle, followed by a square. If they had kind of gone back and forth between types of shapes. Because here we just go back and forth between stars and circles. Stars and circles and stars and circles. But that's not what we have here. C is a little bit different. I guess if we had started with two triangles, followed by two squares, and then followed by another two triangles, this would be the same pattern. Because here we have two stars, and then two circles, and then another two stars. Right? That might be the pattern there. But that's not what we have in this case. Lastly, for D, I think this would make the most sense if we had a triangle, and two squares, and then three triangles. Something like that. Because here we have a star, and two circles, and then three stars. But that's not like the pattern we have. So I would cross out D as well. So when you're given patterns, don't get too lost in the details of triangles and squares. Try to look at something bigger, or something more general. That might really help you. Okay, thanks.